एसी ब्रिजेस हमने डिस्कस किया है पूरा डीसी ब्रिज में वीट स्टैंड ब्रिज एसी ब्रिजेस में मैक्सवेल तो ये डिस्कस किया है आज हमने नेक्स्ट लेक्चर में जा रहे तो दिस लेक्चर इज रिलेटेड टू सम ऑफ द मेजरिंग इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स ओके चलो लेक्चर नंबर टू मेजरिंग इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स का सो रिका पे प्रीवियस लेक्चर हमने क्या क्या डिस्कस किया है लास्ट क्लास में हमने सिलेबस ओवरव्यू दिया है सिलेबस ओवरव्यू के बाद नेक्स्ट हमने डीसी ब्रिजेस डिस्कस किया है डीसी ब्रिजेस में मेजरली आई हैव कवर्ड वीटस्टन ब्रिज आई हैव कवर्ड वीटस्टन ब्रिज नेक्स्ट एसी ब्रिजेस हैव डिस्कस्ड एसी ब्रिजेस में बहुत सारा लिस्ट है वो पूरा हमने डिस्कस किया है एंड इसके साथ साथ हमने गेट पी वे भी डिस्कस किया है गेट पी वे भी हमने डिस्कस किया है ओके सो आज का लेक्चर में हमने क्या डिस्कस करेंगे आज का डिस्कस में मेजरिंग इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स मेजरिंग इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स में हम डिस्कस करेंगे मेजरली टुडे विल डिस्कस द पी एम एम सी इसका पी एम एम सी का फार्मूला रेंज एक्सटेंशन एंड सम गेट पी वाई क्यूज इसके बाद हम डिस्कस करेंगे मूविंग आयरन मूविंग आयरन के बाद हम डिस्कस करेंगे इसका फार्मूला इसका रेंज एक्सटेंशन एंड इसके साथ साथ हम डिस्कस करेंगे गेट पी वे क्यूज ओके सर जितने लोग लाइव में हैं एक बार मुझे थम्सअप दीजिए भैया कंफर्मेशन कर दीजिए जितने लोग लाइव में हैं मुझे एक बार थम्सअप कंफर्मेशन कर दीजिए बेटा सो so दैट हमने स्टार्ट कर सकते हैं ओके okay. जल्दी से जल्दी दो घंटे का सेशन है फर्स्ट लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द पी एम एम सी पी एम एम सी स्टैंड फॉर परमानेंट मैग्नेट मूविंग कॉइल परमानेंट मैग्नेट मूविंग कॉइल सो एज अ नेम इंडिकेट्स एज अ नेम इंडिकेट्स इट इज हैविंग टू पार्ट्स The magnet is permanent fixed, and the coil, which is a copper, is moving. Okay. So majorly in PMMC, or whether it is a PMMC or जो कुछ भी है. ऑल द मेजरिंग इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स के लिए मैं एक बेसिक टेबल देता हूं ओके तो एक टेबल देता हूं तो फ्रॉम दैट टेबल ओनली विल गेट द क्वेश्चन सो प्लीज फॉलो दिस टेबल प्लीज फॉलो दिस टेबल इधर आपको आएगा मेजरिंग इंस्ट्रूमेंट डिफ्लेक्शन टॉर्क कंट्रोलिंग टॉर्क एंड इट्स अप्लीकेशन okay so you can take this as a measuring instrument here we'll get the deflection torque here we'll get the controlling torque here the application if you see the measuring instrument the first measuring instrument here is the pmmc for pmmc the deflection torque is 
okay where b is the magnetic flux density i is the current n is the number of turns a is the area of cross section of the coil mera aawaz clear hai ek bar mujhe confirmation kar dijiye beta the sound and everything is clear from your side please confirm me and the controlling torque is the ac theta its application is only for dc measurement okay chalo <clears throat> okay this is the pmmc next we'll go for the moving iron if you see the moving iron the moving iron deflection torque formula is 1 by 2 i square d l by d theta and this is the kc theta so it is suitable for both dc and e. next we'll go for the electrostatic voltmeter for electrostatic voltmeter the formula is 1 by 2 v square dc by d theta kc theta and it is also for both dc as well as okay next uske baad aa raha hai dynamometer डायनोमीटर का एक्सप्रेशन है आई स्क्वायर डी एम बाई डी टीटा के सी टीटा एंड ए बी एंड डी सी ए सी के लिए प्लीज मेक ए नोट ऑफ दिस लिस्ट ये लिस्ट से आपको सब कुछ मिलेगा ओके okay. सब कुछ मिलेगा ओके हालांकि प्लीज मेक ए नोट ऑफ दिस पॉइंट्स फर्स्ट I think uh, many of the students are not aware of my timings. Yesterday our timing was 8 a.m., but the time was shifted to 7 a.m. because some back-to-back -back classes are there. So that's why I asked the management to shift to the 7 a.m. So here, uh, se our classes 7 a.m. se shuru hoga, 7 baje se 9 baje tak. Okay. So tomorrow onwards, please be regular. So we will discuss the content with the content. We will discuss the problems with the gate ka PY kits. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Ashish. Thank you, Aditya. thank you very much thank you so please make a note of this information this is a crisp class hai humne pura comprehensive class ki taraf se nahi ja rahe okay please remember this point we are not going in a comprehensive way ye youtube ka session jo kuch hai jo important formulas hai and what are the tricks to remember when you go for the gate exam and some important gate pv ki so we are going to discuss okay chalo beta so pmmc ka basic working formula bina hai So first, let us start with the PMMC. So if you see the PMMC, the permanent magnet moving coil, the magnet is fixed. The coil is moving. So let me draw the basic constructional feature diagram of PMMC. So for PMMC, we are having the north pole, and we are having the south pole. Okay. So this is our north pole and. This south pole and ye hai hamara spindle first of all yaha ek coil hoga so this is the copper winding okay but this copper winding is having many number of turns it is having many number of turns okay and this particular copper winding is connected to the springs So this is another spring. Okay. So this all is kept on a spindle. This all is kept on a spindle.
चलो सो देर विल बी बॉल जेवरिंग सियर लाइक दिस so this particular thing is protected by the aluminum frame this protected thing is particularly protected by the aluminum frame the small aluminum frame next is surrounded by is surrounded by a iron cylindrical cover surrounded by a cylindrical iron iron cylinder so here there are certain construction features yahan se aapko dc current aa rahe okay and current ka direction ye hai so this is a current the current is traveling in this direction the current is leaving in this direction okay chalo so now the magnetic flux density is touching in this way so this is a magnetic flux density so these are the magnetic flux lines traveling from the north pole to so you can clearly observe when a current carrying conductor when a current carrying conductor is placed in transverse magnetic field the conductor experiences a force so here there is a certain features you understand and there is a pointer here so this is the pointer and this pointer is also made by aluminum and here these are the तो दिस इज पॉइंट सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स आपको ये याद में रखना है वॉट आर द मेटीरियल्स यूज इन पी एम एम सी वॉट आर द कॉम्पोनेट्स ये कॉम्पोनेट्स में क्या क्या मेटीरियल्स है एक बार ध्यान से देखो तो फर्स्ट थिंग आई वॉन्ट टू राइट हियर द मैग्नेट इज मेड बाई ऑलनिको तो लेट मी राइट हियर दिस अ कॉम्पोनेंट and this is the material magnet is made by alnico next next comes the spring not not magnet the coil the coil is made by copper okay next it is covered by a frame the frame is covered by aluminum The frame is covered by aluminum. Then it is surrounded by a cylindrical iron. Okay, cylinder. The cylinder is made by iron. Okay. Next, coming to the pointer. The pointer is made by aluminum. Okay. Next, coming to the spring. the spring is made by what spring ke kaise made kiya so it is made by phosphorus branch phosphor plus branch so please note down these are the materials there is a proper reason for each and every material okay how of you make a note of this point I'm giving you one minute time for you please note down
चलो डियर सो देर इज अ प्रॉपर रीजन फॉर ईच एंड एवरी थिंग ओके सो द मैग्नेट इज मेड बाई ऑलिको द रीजन इज ऑलिको ऑफर्स दि हय्यर मैग्नेटिक फ्लेक्सिटी कॉल इज मेड बाई कापर बिकॉज कापर इज अ गुड कंडक्टर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी फ्रेम इज मेड बाई अल्यूमियम बिकॉज अल्यूमियम इज ए लाइट वेट सिलिंडर इज मेड बाई आयरन बिकॉज आयरन इज हाईली परमियबल so because of highly permeable there is a equal distribution of the flux in that particular cross sectional of the coil deflection whenever the coil deflects the magnetic flux also equally distributed around the radially so this is the iron next point is made by aluminum aluminum is also lightweight next spring is made by phosphorus branch a spring is made by phosphorus branch this phosphorus branch is a good conductor but at the same time non magnetic so spring why what is the what is the point in the spring now the spring should be like this so this is a spring material okay the so spring material goes like this so it should be wider current passes it should allow the current okay it should allow the current and at the same time when it current is going now it inside it should not create any magnetic field so the spring material must be conductive conductive and non magnetic conductive and non magnetic so that is the reason my dear conductive and non magnetic so that is the reason uh, uh, phosphorus and branch material are conductive at the same time non magnetic now so what happens now whenever a current travels in this particular coil so perpendicular there is a magnetic field yet because of the interaction of this current and the magnetic field there is a deflection force so the deflection force creates a deflecting torque and because of the deflection torque whenever it is created counter reverse there is a springs the springs are going to create the controlling torque okay in all the measuring instruments my dear so you have to keep this in mind measuring instruments me liye deflection torque there are two torques there is a deflecting torque so the deflecting torque is td which is due to interaction of magnetic flux uh, magnetic flux or phi we can say magnetic flux here density here but phi versus i a donor ke beech mein relation ki wajah se deflecting torque aayega next controlling torque controlling torque hai na so that controlling torque tc so controlling torque tc generally so that is going to come because of the spring force okay next there is a damping torque which makes that particular pointer to die its oscillations so damping torque the damping torque is the td so the damping torque is the td which makes the pointer oscillations to die okay so for different instruments the damping torque is offered by different ways so here the damping torque is generated by uh, here the damping torque is generated by uh, this uh, ed current damping ed current ed current damping okay so now let us take what is the expression of the deflection torque what is the expression for the controlling torque so the deflection torque expression td is equal to b i n a where is the controlling torque expression ac theta okay where b represents magnetic flux density b represents the magnetic flux density units are tesla or weber per meter square the units will be like this it will be tesla or weber per meter square next the i is the current passing current passing and it must be dc current remember pmmc cannot respond for the ac currents good morning Good morning, Divya Kant Oja. Good morning, Namaskar. Today's class is at 7:00 a.m. The class is not at 8:00 a.m. The class starts from 7:00 a.m. Okay. So current is next. N is the number of turns. Current 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 is the number of So please keep this in mind and here kc is the spring constant the units are 
न्यूटन मीटर पर रेडियन सो प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस इज ऑल्सो न्यूटन मीटर यूनिट्स दिस इज द न्यूटन मीटर सो इफ टेक दिस रेडियन और इट कैन बी न्यूटन मीटर पर न्यूटन मीटर पर डिग्री ऑल्सो न्यूटन मीटर पर डिग्री ओके सो नाउ दीज आर द मेजर फार्मूलास डोंट मिस्टेक डोंट मिस अंडरस्टैंड आपको रिमेंबर uh, करने के लिए मैं टेक्निक बताऊंगा मैं क्लास में रेगुलर क्लास में बोलता हूं इन हिंदी वर्ड वी कैन राइट बिना तो बिना तो आप बिना यूज करको बिना को रिमेंबर करो तो डिफ्लेक्शन डर का फॉर्मूला आएगा इट स्टडी स्टेट व्हाट हैपेंस इट स्टडी स्टेट द डिफ्लेक्शन टार्क इज इक्वल टू कंट्रोलिंग टार्क This is the bina, and this is the Kc into theta. So theta is equal to V n a by Kc into i. So theta is proportional to i, especially it is a DC. So if you take the graph of PMMC, PMMC का जो कुछ current है, and here I am taking the deflection. So the graph is perfectly linear. The graph is perfectly. So it is suitable for uniform scale. So PMMC is suitable for measurement of current. PMMC can be suitable as a meter. PMMC is suitable as measurement of voltage. so pmmc as voltmeter so here theta is proportional to i dc here is theta is proportional to d dc and it measures only dc measurement all of you clear up to this my dear ek bar mujhe confirmation dijiye beta agar everybody has written this रेडी फॉर द क्वेश्चन माई डियर क्वेश्चन के लिए मुझे कंफर्मेशन दीजिए बेटा एवरीबडी टेक द क्वेश्चन नो ट्राई टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन आई आई टी डेली टू थाउजेंड फोर का क्वेश्चन है ट्राई टू आंसर आई आई टी डेली टू थाउजेंड फोर का सवाल है सो ट्राई टू आंसर how to answer this can anybody tell me the answer which is the right answer here 
a moving coil of a meter has 100 tons n is given as 100 length and depth that is the area of cross section we can take that is 10 mm cross 20 mm so it will become as 200 into 10 power minus 6 meter square radial flux density the magnetic flux density b is given as 200 milli tesla 210 power minus 3 tesla the coil carries a current of 50 milli amperes this is 50 milli amperes 50 into 10 power minus 3 the torque on the coil is dash so the deflection torque we want the deflection torque is bina everything is given just to multiplying all the data can anybody answer now so b is what the magnetic flux density that is 200 into 10 power minus 3 and the current is 50 into 10 power minus 3 and the n is 100 the area of cross section is 200 into 10 power minus 6 so now what happens this 10 power minus 6 it's cancelled. I'm sorry, sorry. One, two, three, it's cancelled. One, two, three, it's cancelled. So, two into five, ten, ten into twenty, two hundred. So, the right answer will be two hundred into ten power minus six Newton. So, this is the reflection dark. So, the right answer here goes to option A. Okay. Let us go for one more question. Try to answer this question. These options are wrong. So these options are galat hai. I am not giving the options. Yeah. Now try to find out the Try to find out the answer for this question. Yes, Alok, try to do the answer. IIT Madras 1999. <coughs> <coughs> Make it fast my dear what is the right answer the current i of t passing through the 10 ohms resistor shown in the figure as i told you the pmmc measures the average value pmmc measures always the average value so pop average ke liye karu ka average expression nikal sakte 1 by t integration of 0 to t p of t dt 
ऐसा भी निकाल सकते हैं और वेन एवर दिस पिक टू पिक वैल्यूज आर गिवेन सो हियर दिस आई एवरेज आप निकाल सकते हैं डायरेक्टली एज इट सिमेट्रिकल वे फॉर्म सो डायरेक्टली वी कैन टेक ट्वेल्व प्लस फाइव डिवाइड बाई टू सो सेवनटीन बाई टू कम्स एज एट पॉइंट फाइव एम्पियर्स द करंट पासिंग हियर इज द आई एवरेज एंड दिस टेनोम्स रेसिस्टर सो वोल्टेज अक्रॉस दिस टर्मिनल्स एंड द वोल्टेज अक्रॉस दिस टर्मिनल्स विल बी सेम सो the v output is equal to or the voltmeter reading will be i into r so i is equal to 8.5 and the resistance is 10 so the right answer is 85 volts so the right answer here is 85 volts kya ho gaya bhaiya aapse answer nahi mil rahe simple simple questions ko answer bolna hai ha huh? chalo let us go for the next question <coughs> try to answer this question iit delhi 2014 ka sawal hai try to answer this question the dc current flowing a circuit is measured by two ammeters one pmmc and another electrodynamometer type connected in series the pmmc meter contains 100 tons in the coil the flux tends in the air gap is 0.2 weber per meter square and the area of this coil is 80 mm square the electrodynamometer ammeter has a change in mutual inductance with respect to deflection of 0.5 milli henry per degree the spring constants of both the meters are equal the value of current at which the deflections of the two meters are the same is dash so if we see the dc current he has given the two things okay try to solve that so he has given the uh, expressions of the values of the deflection torque and he has given the deflection torque for the electrodynamometer aapko pata hai ammeter and dynamometer ka td ka expression kya hai pmmc ka td kya hai electrodynamometer ka td kya hai so you can see this slide you can take this slide again here so this is the things so these are the slides for pmmc bina and for dynamometer high square dm by d theta uh dynamometer basically works on the concept of mutual inductance moving current works works on the concept of self inductance electrostatic voltmeter works on the concept of change in capacitance okay chalo so now based on that try to answer this question make it fast i'm giving a 1 minute time for you in 1 minute you have to give me the answer Make it fast. so right answer please so see here two informations are being given two informations have been given the dc current flowing in the circuit is measured by two ammeters one is the pmmc one is the pmmc and the other is electrodynamometer connected in series the pmmc meter contains 100 tons of the coil so n is 100 the flux density in the air gap is v that is 0.2 weber per meter square and the area of the coil is 80 mm square 80 into 10 power minus 6 meter square the electrodynamometer ammeter has a change in mutual inductance with respect to deflection so this is the dm by d theta so this is 0.5 milli henry per degree <coughs> the spring constant of both the meters are same <coughs> excuse me okay the value of current at which the 
deflections of the two meters are same he is asking. So, deflection torque formula here is Bina and deflection torque formula here is I square dm by d theta. So, this is the expression. So, now these two things are equal. So, the currents are same at a particular current. So, this is the Bina and this is the I square dm by d theta. So, he is asking the value of the current. He is asking the value of the current. So, this is B n a, this is I, this is d m by d theta. So, the B na by d m by d theta is equal to I. So, what is the value of B? That is 0.2. And what is the value of number of turns? The number of turns is 100. And what is the value of area of cross section? 80 into 10 power minus 6. Next, what is the value of dm by d theta? 0.5 milli henry. So, this is 0 0.5. 0 0.5 into 10 power minus 3. So, now if you simplify, you are going to get the current expression. What is the current value? Tell me. I need the answer, Alok Kumar. What is the right answer? Use the calci. Answer. Confirmation answer 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 कुछ नहीं रिस्पांस नहीं आ रहा है आपसे एनर्जी नहीं है क्या 3.2 एम्पियर इज द राइट आंसर ओके चलो लेट अस गो फॉर द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एक्चुअली लेट अस गो फॉर द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक ओके सो व्हाट इज द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज अ रेंज एक्सटेंशन The next topic is range extension. So, PMMC can be used as an ammeter. So, range extension as PMMC ammeter. Okay. So, range extension as a PMMC ammeter. Let us see this concept. All of you are ready? Hai? एक बार मुझे थम्सअप दिखाइए बेटा जितने लोग लाइव में हैं नेक्स्ट टॉपिक के लिए PMMC as a meter range extension kaisa hota hai dekho so here this is a meter and this is a meter resistance so this is a meter resistance so this is a rm so, this is the IM. Okay. So, this is the basic theory of a meter. So, range extension banna hai. Range extension banna bolo to kya hai? It does not mean that uh, PMMC is going to allow the current, but that instrument can be used such a way it can be extended for that much range. 
that means you can keep this pmmc in a circuit where the current is more than its capacity also okay how by attaching a shunt resistance so this is the shunt resistance So these are shunt resistance my dear so now if you see this current the current is split into two parts one is the current passing through the meter other one is the current passing through the shunt resistance okay so this is our vsh this is our vm so now i can take is a voltage across the meter is a voltage across the shunt So this is the vm this is the vsh okay so vm is equal to im rm vm is equal to vsh am i right or not because generally parallel circuits may voltage same rather than parallel circuits may voltages will be same so by attaching the shunt resistance what we are doing now my dear shunt resistance attach karne se humko kya ho raha hai we are making uh, such a way the maximum amount of current suppose if anything is there that maximum amount of current will pass through the shunt resistance so that is a point you have to understand okay that is a point you have to understand okay so for that the shunt should be made very small value so that it should have a maximum current so whenever you are doing the problems always remember whichever is the smaller resistance that will be the shunt resistance because it has to allow the maximum current okay it has to allow the maximum current so vm i can take it as im into rm vsh i have to take it as ish into rsh so now i have to find the rsh what is the rsh that is im into rm the whole divided by ish this ish i can take like this this i is split into two parts one is a meter current other one is a shunt current okay so this im into rm the whole divided by ish ish is equal to i minus im so if you take the im out what happens if you take the im out i by im minus 1 so this im im gets cancelled so this i by im we can take it as a multiplying factor so i can take it as rsh is equal to rm by this m minus 1 so this m i can take it as this m i can take it as multiplying factor what is m multiplying factor that is i by i okay so this is the basic expression now let us go for the pmmc voltmeter so range extension for the pmmc voltmeter PMMC voltmeter. Let us see this one. PMMC voltmeter ka extension dekhenge. Kaisa hoga? So now if I am taking for voltmeter, there is voltage ko badna hai. Voltage ko badna ke liye iskal series mein resistor karna hai. Current ra range extension karne ke liye parallel mein hota hai. Voltage ko extension karne ke liye series multiplier resistor connect karenge. So this is our meter. this is our rm this is our vm and now this is a meter this is the meter
and next here we are attaching a series resistor so this is the series resistor rse so i'm applying a multiplier resistor so if you take this multiplier resistor this total voltage if i'm checking this total voltage this total voltage i can take it as the v this total voltage i can take it as v and this voltage i can take it as vm and I have observed in both the cases the current is same, the current which is passing here and the current which is passing. So, if you take that V, V will be total, this will be total I into RSC plus RM, whereas the VM is equal to just IM into RM. And remember, I is equal to IM, both are same. Okay, so if I am taking the capital V by small vm ratio, this is I into RSC plus RM, the whole divided by IM into RM. As I and IM both are same, so capital V by small vm is equal to RSC by RM plus 1. So, this I am taking as M, okay. So, I will take this as M, RSC by RM, okay. So, now if I am taking this into picture, so, yaha se amne RSC ko nikal sakte hai. So, M minus 1 is equal to RSC by RM, so the RSC can be taken as RM into M minus. So these are the two expressions, my dear, where M can be taken as the multiplying factor V by VM. Multiplying understood. Huh? So you, you have to understand a range extension of ammeter the formula ammeter may shunt resistance parallel may ho jayega is ki wajah se m niche aayega voltmeter may series resistor series may hoga is ki wajah se m series may aayega so it is very easy to remember the formula okay shunt resistor niche hai parallel may hai so ye tricks hai ye tricks yaad rakna hai okay Chalo, let us go for the next question now questions karenge, range actions ke upar bahut sara times questions aa chuka hai beta. Try to answer this question. Try to answer this question. Ralpala. What is the answer? A 100 microamperes ammeter has an internal resistance of 100 ohms 
for extending its range to measure 500 microamperes the shunt resistance required is of dash so rsa just ko nikalna hai kaise karna hai anybody what is the use of this youtube sessions i don't understand acche nahi aa rahe aur aane wale bhi response nahi de rahe please respond respond yaar only 3 people are watching 4 people are watching a 100 micro amperes ammeter has an internal resistance of 100 ohms for extending its range to measure 500 micro amperes so what is given here so first try to understand 100 micro amperes a meter so that is the im so he has given the im hundred micro ampere as an internal resistance of 100 ohms internal resistance of 100 ohms as for extending its range to measure i is asking the shunt resistance required hum kaisa karna hai rsh is equal to rm by m minus 1 so m is equal to i by im minus 1 so meter ka resistance kitna diya hai ya this is given as 100 and i is equal to 500 micro amperes 500 into 10 power minus 6 and by im that is a 100 into 10 power minus 6 minus 1 5 minus 1 you are going to get 25 ohms the right answer for this question here is 25 ohms option Okay, so let us go for the next question. Answer this question. Tahu bhai, answer karo question ko. IIT Kanpur 2015 का सवाल है गुड कल इसे इसे गुड कल
आंसर बताइए यार जीरो टू फिफ्टी एम्पेयर मूविंग कॉल अमीटर हैज अ वोल्टेज ड्रॉप ऑफ पॉइंट वन वोल्ट एक्रॉस द टर्मिनल एट फुल स्केल डिफ्लेक्शन द एक्सटर्नल शंट रेसिस्टेंस नीडेड तो क्वेश्चन इज रिलेटेड टू अमीटर अगेन द क्वेश्चन इज रिलेटेड टू अमीटर तो वॉट इज द इन्फॉर्मेशन यू एस गिवन सो ए जीरो टू फिफ्टी एम्पियर्स अमीटर सो दिस आई एम having a voltage drop of 0.1 volts across this so that means rm he has not given but the voltage drop is given as this vm as 0.1 volts is given here at a full scale deflection the external shunt resistance needed so he is attaching a shunt resistance so this a shunt resistance is asking to extend Needed. Its range to extend to 500 amperes. So this is I. So I has to be extended from 0 to 500 amperes maximum, and the I M must to be 50 amperes. So V M is equal to how to do now? The V M is equal to I M into R M. So from this we can find out the R M first of all. So this is 0.1. The meter current is 50. And RM आपको होएगा RM is equal to point one by fifty, ठीक है one by five hundred. Next, so what is the RSH? RSH क्या होगा? RSH is equal to RM by m minus one. RM by m minus one. M is equal to I by I m minus one. Okay. हमको हमारे पास आई है आई एम बी है आर एम क्या है आर एम वन बाई फिफ्टी है आई कितना है फाइव हंड्रेड है आई एम कितना है फिफ्टी है माइनस वन ओके तो आंसर करो बेटा टू पॉइंट टू टू मिली ओम्स आ रहे हैं अरे आप क्या कर रहे हैं भैया सुबह सुबह आके चाय पी के नाश्ता करके आराम से बैठ रहे क्या ऑनलाइन में मैंने एक दो मिनट टाइम दिया ये सिंपल क्वेश्चंस को भी आप आंसर नहीं दे रहे क्या कर रहे हैं उधर गेट लिखने वाला है और गेट नहीं लिखने वाला इधर उस तो रेस्पॉन्स दीजिए टू पॉइंट टू मिली ओके टू सॉरी सर मिली ओम्स है सॉरी टू पॉइंट मिली ओम्स है Let us go for the next question. Yeah, I think this problem we have solved, right? Leave it. Leave this problem. Going for one more problem, which is related to voltmeter. answer this question
एक मिनट हो चुका है आंसर नहीं आया अब तक साहू भाई आर यू देर ट्राई टू आंसर ए गोला मीटर विद फुल स्केल करंट ऑफ टेन मिली एम्पियर एज एसिस्टेंस ऑफ थाउजेंड ओम्स The multiplying factor, the ratio of measure current to the galvanometer current of a hundred ohm shunt with the galvanometer is dash. A galvanometer with a full scale current of ten milli amperes. Has a resistance of thousand ohms. The multiplying factor is asking. Which is I by I M of a hundred ohm shunt, so R S H with this galvanometer is dash. So you can write it like this. R S H is equal to R M by minus one. R M by M is equal to I A by I M minus one. Okay, he is asking M na. Let us keep like this only. M. So now everything is available to you. R S H is hundred ohms. Meter resistance is thousand ohms. M minus one. So M will be ten plus one. Eleven. Eleven is the answer. So option C is the right answer. Okay, sure. Let us go for the next question. Yeah, answer this question. He has given. PMMC voltmeter is connected across a series combination of a DC voltage source V1 is equal to 2 volts and a AC voltage source V2 of T is equal to 3 sin 40 volts. The meter reads dash. So there is a DC component and an AC component. They are connected in series. आंसर तो ये क्वेश्चन सिंपल क्वेश्चन है सी दे आर कनेक्टेड फॉर अ डीसी एज वेल एज वोल्टेज सोर्स एसी सी देर इज अ डीसी एंड देर इज ए एसी वोल्टेज ऑल्सो दे आर कनेक्टेड इन सीरीज द डीसी वोल्टेज इज टू वोल्ट एंड द एसी वोल्टेज इज थ्री साइन फोर टी वोल्ट ए पीएमएमसी वोल्ट मीट इज कनेक्टेड Across a series combination of these two, it is connected across a series combination of these two. So now here the PMMC is connected. The PMMC measures only the DC voltage. Why? Because you know that PMMC cannot measure the AC voltage. Suppose the same thing if moving iron is kept, na the moving iron is going to measure the. Chala.
try to answer this question iit madras 2019 ka sawal hai A moving coil instrument having a resistance of 10 ohms gives a full scale deflection when the current is 10 milliamperes. What should be the value of series resistance? So, how to understand this problem? So, this is the RM. A moving coil instrument having a resistance of 10 ohms gives a full scale deflection when the current is 10 milliamperes. 10 milliamperes. What should be the value of series resistance to be added? What is the value of series resistance to be added? So that it can be used as a voltmeter for measuring a potential difference of 100 volts. So, to measure a potential difference of 100 volts. How much? He is asking RSC. So, you have VM. Chahiye. VM, you can take it directly. How to solve this question? The VM, I can take it as IM into RM. So, that is 10 into 10 power minus 3 into RM 10 ohms. So, that is 10 square. 100 into 10 power minus 18. So, 0 0.1 volt. The question asked is RSC. RSC is equal to RM into minus 1. So, meter resistance kitna hai 10 ohms. M kitna hai M is equal to capital V by small vm. Capital V is 100 volts. This is becomes 1000, right? So, it becomes M becomes 1000. It's a 1000. Answer is triple nine. Option B is the right answer. Subendu Sahu, Alok Kumar, Divya Kant Oja, are you there? Chala, scar Sadiji. I see Bangalore 2016 ka question. Try to answer this. Wow. E of T that is.
A DC voltage with ripple is given by V of t is equal to 100 plus 10 sin omega t plus pi sin 3 omega t. Measurement of this voltage made by moving coil and moving current voltmeters show the readings V1 and V2 respectively. So actually moving current we have not discussed. But up pata hai moving current measures the RMS value. This is the point. So listen, what is the V of t? The V of t is given as 100 plus 10 sin omega t plus pi sin 3 omega t. Okay. <clears throat> So PMMC that is V1 of T that is average V average or VDC. So the answer is 100 volts. Next moving iron MI that is a V2 of T which is a VRMS. So what is the VRMS of these two? square root of 100 square plus 10 by root 2 whole square plus pi by so simplify it how much you are going to get I'll see you square beta kitna are 10 divided by root 2 50 this is 50 next pi by root 2 this is 12.5 okay Hundred point three one two five. So, कितना आ रहे? Hundred point three one two amperes. Sorry, volts. Okay. So now he is asking the value of V two minus V one. That means V one two minus Okay, clear. That is the right answer. Shalom, my dear. Let us go for the next topic. That is a moving iron. The next topic I am starting is the moving iron instrument okay. so moving iron instrument ka basic concept hai here the moving part is the iron disc the fixed part is a coil the fixed part is the coil and the moving part is iron disc. Please keep a mindset on this. Okay. So this is basically works on the concept of electromagnet. Okay. So this coil acts like an electromagnet. This coil acts like an electromagnet. Remember this. This coil acts like electromagnet. That means what? So there is a coil like this. So whenever a current passes AC or DC, then around this particular, there is a magnetic field is generated. So because of the magnetic field, what happens? There is a magnetic. It becomes like a magnet. Becomes like a magnet. 
So these are the magnetic lines, it becomes like a magnet. So this is becomes like a magnet. So this is a north pole and this is a south pole. So now it is a magnet. So around this magnet, suppose nearby, if you have a aluminum, uh, if you have an iron disc, so this is the iron disc attached to a uh, arrangement like this, a spindle type arrangement, and there is a pointer here. Okay, this is a pointer. So, whenever the current is increasing, na, then what happens? This particular iron disc reluctance path is going to be reduced because the electromagnet becomes more stronger, more magnet. So, whenever the iron disc is near to the coil, then what happens? The iron disc is going to be attracted. So, that's why it is called moving iron. So, this is what we call as iron disc. Concussion slip. So now what happens now it is going to move like this. So when it moves there is a change in self inductance here that is a dl by d theta why because whenever there is no current as the current increases the flux increases when the flux increases the reluctance decreases when the reluctance decreases what happens this will be attracted the force of attraction the force of attraction increases. So when the force of attraction increases, this iron disc comes closer. This is iron. So because of this iron, what happens? There is a change in self inductance also. The iron also offers certain, whenever iron comes closer, the inductance also changes. So the dl by d theta also increases. So the change in self inductance is proportional to this current. <coughs> so, and the baki sub t k. Here aapko ek, uh, uh, spring movement rahega. Okay. So this is a spring movement. So kuch bhi hai, spring movement hai. Okay. So I am not giving the full length diagram, I am just giving the conceptual clearance. So the deflection torque for moving iron instrument or MI, the deflection torque is given by 1 by 2 I square dl by d theta controlling torque is given by kc theta 1 by 2 i square dl by d theta and this is given by kc theta so now at steady state what happens the deflection torque is equal to controlling torque so i can take this as 1 by 2 i square dl by d theta this i can take it as kc so now if i am taking this as 1 by 2 i square by kc dl by d theta equal to theta so this is the expression so if you see now the based upon the expression the theta is proportional to i square similarly theta is proportional to v square the graph is not uniform graph you have to understand that the graph is a non uniform so if you take the graph graph whether it is a theta or i so for certain movements there is a crowd then linear then spacious so this is the crowded this is the linear this is the spacious. Understood? So it is a non uniform scale. Understood, my dear? So please make a note of these points. Now let us go for some questions. Please make a note here. Take a small break and we will solve a question.
try to answer this is 30 theta is 30 theta and these are not necessary i don't want to give the options solve on your own accord so try to solve this question the inductance of a certain moving and ammeter is expressed as l is equal to what is given l is equal to 10 plus 30 theta minus theta square by 4 micro henry but it has a deflection radiance from the zero position the control spring constant kc he has given as 25 into 10 power minus 6 newton meter per radian the deflection of the pointer in radian theta in radians is asking the meter carries a current of 5 amperes please try to solve take a break of 5 minutes
answer anybody answer please okay so here self inductance is given how to solve let's take the self inductance here l 10 plus 30 theta minus theta square by 4 micro henry so what is the best way of doing this problem dl by d theta we have to find first of all dl by d theta make 0 this is 30 2 theta by 4 and this is micro henry per radian remember this point so this will become as 30 minus theta by 2 micro henry per so this is the real one next spring constant kc is given as 25 to 10 power minus 6 25 into 10 power minus 6 newton meter per so now the deflection torque and controlling torque question asked is the theta right it must be equal to tc so 1 by 2 i square T L by D T T equal to C T. So what is given? One by two. What is the current? Current is given as phi square. D L by D T is this. T minus T T by two. Ten power minus six. The K C is given as twenty five into ten power minus six. तो उसको सिंप्लीफाई करना है ऐसा सिंप्लीफाई करेंगे तो हियर ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव किट्स कैंसिल टेन पॉवर माइनस सिक्स टेन पॉवर माइनस सिक्स ऑल्सो किट्स कैंसिल तो दिस इज फिफ्टीन माइनस टीटा इक्वल टू टीटा राइट टीटा बाय फोर ना यू मस्ट getting 12 the right answer is 12 radians okay so that is the right answer chalo my dear so now if you see the range extension of moving iron range extension of moving iron a meter suppose if i am taking for a picture this is the current and this is the lm this is the rm i have to attach a shunt also same components the lsh this is the rsh this is the i this is the ish And time constant of the meter and time constant of shunt same. That means L M by R M, L S H by R S H, same. But to choose like that, to choose like that. The important point here you have to understand here is the important point that you have is. How to find out this ISH? 
same story the vm is equal to vsh here we can take im into zm and we can take this is ish into zsh so im by ish equal to zsh by zm this is i minus this is dot of r s h square plus the l s h square this is square root of r m square plus the l m okay so if i take i m out here this is i by i m minus one answer so this is if i take rsh out square root of 1 plus mega sh by rsh square divided rm square root of mega m by whole square so these both are same so this gets cancelled okay and what happens rsh is equal to again we are going to get the same story rm by so please note down okay Got it? Nay Ayega. Nay Ayega. Okay, this is the expression. Next. So, based on this, you can take the problems. One second. Doing some problems. Try to answer this question. Try to answer this question. A 0 to 1 ampere moving at an ammeter has an internal resistance of 50 milliohms and inductance of 0 0.1 milliohm. Millihandle. A shunt coil is connected to extend its range to 0 to 10 amperes or operating frequencies. The time constant in milliseconds and resistance in milliohms for the shunt coil respectively are dash. So try to solve this.
So how to solve this question? A 0 to 1 ampere moving iron ammeter. So moving iron ammeter. So he has given very clearly this is moving iron ammeter. Two minutes. Moving iron ammeter. So this is the IM. So this is the LM. This is the RM. Has an internal resistance of 50 milli ohms. So this is 50 milli ohm. An inductance of 0.1 milli hand. So this is 0.1 milli hand. 0 to 10 amperes for all operating frequencies. So he wants to extend. To extend, you have to attach LSH and RSH. So this is the I. A 0 to 1 ampere. So this is 1 ampere. Now he wants to extend to 10 amperes. 10 amperes. So the time constant in milliseconds and resistance in milli ohms. So he is asking this of the shunt coil. So definitely we need this. So first of all, how to find RSH? So directly up RSH ke liye formula use kar sakte hai. RSH ke liye directly formula use kar sakte hai. RSH is equal to Rm by M minus 1. So that is Rm by I by Im minus 1. Here Rm kitna diya bhaiya? 50 milli ohms. Which is 50 into 10 power minus 3. And I kitna diya bhai? 10 amperes. Im kitna diya bhaiya? 1 ampere. So 9. So 50 by 9 into 10 power minus this is the RSH. So if you simplify, what is the answer? 50 by 9 karo. I'll see use karke bataiye. 50 by 9 kitna aega? Kitna aega 50 by 9? Can see use karo na? 50 by 9. Five point five five ohms. 